creating an environment where people are open enough to be able to try those things, be able to find what is their per yeah. se. And, and the, the beauty is, is that sometimes those, not sometimes, probably often, those things change over time. I've had plenty of people that I've been able to see either at meetings or connect with outside of group that two, three months, or even a year down the road, finally picked up a guitar, you know what I mean? But had no ambitions of it when they got out because all they wanted to do was stay sober for the next day. That that wasn't part of their journey to get there, but it was an option because they were exposed to it. I guarantee you it's the same thing with art and CrossFit or equine therapy, things yeah. that are offered out there from an experiential standpoint. Because I said, my therapist taught me this, nature abhors a vacuum, meaning like, if there's a space there, nature will fill it, right? How much time did our disease consume in our lives? All of it. It was a full-time job. <laughs> it was and a full-time some. job, right? <laughs> if I wasn't using, I was thinking about using. So now that we take that out, what are we going to fill it with? And I think that's why the experiential therapy is so critical to expose people to those options.